What is up all of you awesome and amazing people on YouTube? Kud Malo here coming at you from a hot Los Angeles evening. It's still about 100 degrees or so in the San Fernando Valley of Los Angeles. But anyways, this is my first time visiting an Aldi, so I wanted to do a little bit longer of a review. What I noticed right off the bat, the quick summary, is that Aldi to me is like Kirkland to Costco. It's kind of like a lot of generic stuff made by probably bigger companies that just don't want to pay for the advertising, the packaging, etc. So they release it through a generic name through Aldi to save everybody some money. So here's an example. If you go to Costco and you buy a hot and ready pizza, it's about 10 bucks, right? If you buy the same pizza that's in the refrigerated section at Costco, you're gonna pay $9. So here at Aldi, if you buy the refrigerated pizza, it's only five bucks. So you're saving $4 on that same pizza that you still have to put in the oven and bake yourself or whatever. But hey, you're saving four bucks and all those little, all those little dollars add up. Another prime example would be the organic spring mix salad. If you go to Costco, you're gonna pay, I think the last price I checked was $7. It might've gone up to $8. Here at Aldi, right now, it was $5, $4.95. So you're saving at least $2, perhaps even $3 on the salad. So between the pizza and the salad, you just saved yourself how much? $3 plus another four. So you saved yourself about seven bucks. So it's kind of worth it if you wanted to come here and just get all these generic versions of things. There's stuff all over the place. It seems to be the hot ticket items. They had like Aldi's version of wheat thins, like the generic version of that, those are pretty cheap. I think they were $3 for a box. Whereas if you bought the wheat thins, it would be like seven or $8. So you kind of get the idea. Anyways, parking's pretty easy. The store is pretty simple and laid out. It's about half the size of a regular supermarket, even maybe a third of the size of a regular supermarket. There's not a whole lot of choices. Like you're not gonna see 30 different kinds of yellow mustard you're probably going to see two or three kinds of yellow mustard because they try to pick the ones that are the most i guess consumer requested or whatever the exact terminology is anyways overall i like the place i would definitely come here if i was having a party and i wanted to buy some less expensive food that's probably the same food you would buy at a bigger ticket store you know that kind of thing but you get the idea. So anyways, there are some links below to some pretty cool products. Make sure to check those out. There's also a like button. Make sure to hit that. Hit the subscribe button if you like what you're seeing. I'm Kuder Malloy, and I will catch you all in the next exciting video.